Why are you waiting for people to validate you? Why are you waiting for people to put their stamp of approval on you? Like USDA, you are not a piece of meat. You are not a piece of trash. You are not a floor mat. You are not to be disrespected. You are not to be kicked. You are not to be hit. You are not to be spat on. You are not to be lied to. You are not to be cheated on. You are not to be treated like a whore on a corner. That is not what God has called you to do. You're beautiful. What's wrong with you? Why can't you see that? It's nothing wrong with telling yourself, I am cute. It's nothing wrong with telling yourself, I am beautiful. See, we've allowed the world to tell us if we tell ourselves these things, that we're stuck up cocky and conceited. The devil is a liar. I'm cute. I wake up every morning and in the middle of the night and look in the mirror and say, hi, good looking. But we've allowed these stereotypes that people put on us and we allow other people's opinions to make us who we are. If you don't think you're beautiful, why do you expect somebody else to think you're beautiful? If you don't think you're beautiful, how are you gonna expect somebody else to respect the time that you put into putting yourself together? Because most of us don't take five minutes to get all this together. This right here takes some time. So you put yourself together and you go out of your way to do all these things just to allow the world to smash you up against the wall and slap tape across your mouth because you can't tell yourself how good you feel about yourself. The devil is a liar. Because if you don't believe it, nobody else will believe it. Speak it out of your mouth. I am beautiful. I don't, be, I don't think you believe it. I am beautiful. And let me help you understand something. Beauty is not just what you see on the outside. Because I know that we've come across plenty of women, women who are beautiful on the outside. And as soon as they open their mouth, everything that you just saw goes away. From the negative attitude, the curse words coming out their mouth, flinging this and that. I can't even go to the nail salon and get my eyelashes done without hearing curse words. Come on. I want to get my eyelashes done in peace. I don't want to hear all of that. But somebody didn't tell the one who was speaking those words that she was beautiful enough not to have to speak that way. It's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. It's nothing wrong with looking good. We don't have to wait to a woman's conference to go to Macy's, JCPenney's, Kmart, wherever you went. It doesn't take a woman's conference for you to put yourself together. My mama taught me a long time ago, the outfit don't make you, you make the outfit. I put on a $2 dress and make it look like it came from Neiman Marcus because I'm wearing it. It's not about how much money you have. It's not about how much education you have. It's not about how many people know your name. It's not about any of those things. It's about what God thinks about you. But if you don't have a relationship with Christ, you won't know what he thinks about you. Because what you will rely on is what everybody else has to say about you. If you don't love you, who will? If you don't take yourself out to eat, who will? If you don't take yourself shopping, who will? If you don't slap that foundation on your face, who will? If you don't push yourself up to the dinner table to eat, who will? And none of us is pushing that back. If you don't get up and put yourself in a bath every day, who will? The point I'm making is you got to make a move. You have to put in the effort. You have to wake up every morning and make a conscious decision. I'm either going to live in my mess or die in my mess. Because life ain't easy. I'm not going to sit up here and act like life's been easy for me. I'm 
I'm preaching some manuscript that somebody gave me, I'm talking about what I know. And I wouldn't know what I know unless I've been through what I've been through. Who told you you couldn't take a vacation in the Bahamas? Just because you don't have a man don't mean you can't go. Or just because your man won't take you don't mean you can't go. I mean, let me put this out here plain and clear. My man, husband, takes me wherever I want to go. So I ain't talking about him. For y'all get, in, get some ideas. <laughs> but I heard Bishop Noel Jones say it best. He said, Paris is still Paris. London is still London. Get you a ticket and fly yourself somewhere. <laughs> Let me say that again. I'm going to change it up. Florida is still Florida, Bahamas is still Bahamas, Macy's is still Macy's, the pier is still the pier, the boardwalk is still the boardwalk, Kmart is still Kmart, Burger King is still Burger King, Red Lobster is still Red Lobster, Ruby Tuesday is still Ruby Tuesday, my bed in peace is still my bed in peace. If you want it, get up and put yourself in it. If I remember what the Bible says, I think I got a pretty good memory. It says, regardless of what I'm going through, I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah. 